Hi you guys. I'm back and today it's kind of a different video. Um, I actually almost feel like I'm human again. I was a little bit sick there for a minute. <clears throat> anyway, I went shopping today and I had to go to Bed Bath & Beyond and order myself another gadget. But this is a proper gadget. So it's an attachment for my food saver to um, it's the attachment to get all the air out and vacuum seal jars. I do not have one of those and I've been wanting one and I'm still working. Told me she got hers at Bed Bath & Beyond so I stopped by there today and lo and behold I had to order it but it, it'll come right to my house now. And then while I was out and about I went over to World Market. A dangerous place for me to be. because <laughs> They always have something I can't live without. And I'm also starting Christmas shopping. I try to get little unique gifts that maybe, you know, not everybody's thought of. And this was one of them. And I bought myself one, of course, because I have to test it out. But this looks like a pepper. It's in the shape of a jalapeno. And it, it this little stand folds down on itself. Um, you can roast jalapenos. Now, I already did one. And the reason I say this is a prepper gadget is because theoretically you could cut the end off and core these without touching the membrane of the seat. So this is the other part of the gadget and it is a core. It takes the core, the seeds, and the membrane out, which is the hot part. And you just twist it around and lickety split. I'll tell you what. Look at that. The whole thing comes out at once and your pepper is cleaned out and ready to roast stuff, whatever you're going to do with it. We love stuffed peppers. That one's kind of a fat one. So I guess you kind of get, you got to get peppers that fit the, fit the mold. But like I said, if, you know, in a situation where you ran out of gloves, you could still use this. You could still do peppers like you were used to that you've grown in your garden and roast them on the open fire, on a grill. And so I just, I thought, wow, what a neat little deal. And I bought the rest of what they had for unique Christmas items. Um, I just, I like to have something that's a little unusual. It doesn't have to be expensive. These were only, this was only $10. So not like it, it's an expensive, extravagant gift. Now, I'm going to stuff these bell peppers tonight. I just stuff mine with some uh, chipotle pepper and cream cheese. I whip the cream cheese up with the chipotle pepper powder and uh, stuff them with that. It's delicious. You can do it any way you want. You could stuff them with cheddar cheese. Standing up like this, they're probably not going to be as apt to uh, oh, ooze out. Like I usually cut mine in half and stuff them. But I thought that was a really cool little gadget. Gadget. And I thought I'd share that with you. You know, if I don't know if where you live there's a world market, but if there is, you know, check it out. If not, I know you have internet so you can go online and check it out. And there you go. It holds 18 peppers. I'm going to try to, I don't know if I have 18, but it'll be plenty for us tonight. We might only do like six or eight. But there you have it. And you can put this right on the grill. And uh, <laughs> grill them right in that. Easy cleanup. My next item of gadgetry, I collect cast iron. I have tons of cast iron. I, I don't know why in the beginning it wasn't so much um, a prep thing as much as it was uh, when we would go camping and stuff like that and then I just started oh my gosh they have a tur they have a turkey cooker oh my goodness they have this kind. So of course today when I was at World Market I saw a, a smaller little cast iron pot, which you know I'm going to end up going back and getting. It didn't have a lid or anything, but it was just a little soft pan, maybe one quart. 
And I thought, you know, I could that would be great for sauce or certain things that you might need. And then I turn around and here this was. And it comes with a trivet. Okay, so it's a wooden trivet that it came with. It comes with the cast iron full of the pot, which I thought was a great size if you wanted to do something small or a side dish, a side veggie. They called this a noodle bowl. And they had you put noodle soup in there and the lid kept it warm. And it's got a neat handle. This would be great for outdoors on hanging or on a grate. Um, I, I just thought it was a neat little deal, and so I had to have it. Anyway, so that was my uh, shopping spree today <laughs> for prepping and, um, I, you know, gadgets that you might have to have. If we don't have any other heat source than wood fire, you've got to be prepared for that. And I'm of the opinion, as far as cast iron goes, it's a lifetime investment. I have cast iron pots that were one of you know that were somebody else's grandma's that have lasted literally a lifetime if you take care of them. And um, the non-stick cookware that we have, Teflon and non-stick, even though I use some of it, it's it's really not a good option. If that non-stick starts coming away and we ingest it, it can cause all kinds of problems. So I just, I highly recommend if you can pick up cast iron anywhere, barter for it, get it at garage sales. I, I've done all that. I have a full set and then some. But um, I just thought I'd share. It's, it's the first non-stick cookware, by the way. If you take care of this, it's non-stick as non-stick could be. And clean up the breeze. All you need is water. And sometimes not even water. You can just burn it off. So um, it conserves in water also. All right, YouTube, I'll post this and see what you think. Give me a comment. I hope this inspires you to maybe think about purchasing or collecting some cast iron. You know, you never know. A relative might have a bunch they don't want. Um, I have a friend who has a barn full of it because he's a collector. But um, that was my thought for the day. Uh, I figured I might as well share it. I hope this inspires you to go out there and make sure that you're fully equipped for whatever is to come our way. All right. I hope to see you again soon. God bless.